What's up? What's going on? Happy Monday, guys. Um, I think you know what time it is, right? For those that don't know, I love to do my mantra messages, um, my Monday motivations, whatever you want to call it. Um, those that know, you guys know. Um, but I'm here to do a just give you guys some inspiration, some motivation for today and throughout the rest of the week. And let's just tap in. It's time to tap in and <laughs> just give a message. So, um, okay, let's just start. I don't think I really need to keep babbling, right? So, you know, I got my handy dandy cards right here where I am going to just shuffle the cards and just see what pops up. A message, see where my intuition leads me, right? And if I don't get a pop out card, then okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I sometimes don't like talking about love. Alright, so anyway, this is mirrored, but the love that you withhold is the pain that you carry. I really feel like kind of though, like this is more talking about yourself. You know, I was, I think I just made a video about self-love. Um, people tend to be like, oh, it's self-love and like self-love and self-care go hand in hand. They're like best of cousins. Um, the more you care for yourself, the more you show love for yourself, right? The more you replenish yourself, the more that you replenish your energy and really take responsible Take responsibility for your actions, your thoughts, and reactions. <laughs> um, that's one thing people don't talk about self-love. You know, you might see people on the gram, you know, Facebook, whatever, posting pictures like self-love, whatever. But really, no shade, but um, self-love is really knowing, getting to know yourself, you know, having that um, knowledge of self, uh, because that's showing love. You want to get to know yourself. Know that nook and cranny of the good, the bad, the ugly. And really just tapping in too. And knowing like, okay, I'm aware of this. Now that I'm aware of this, I should do better, right? You know better, you do better. You take responsibility for um, those actions, for things that you've done in the past, for things that you're doing right now. So... You have the intention to move forward and grow from it. Learn from that lesson and move forward. Um, going back to this card, though, the love that you withhold is the pain that you carry. If you don't have any love for yourself, you don't think you're carrying pain? If you sit there and talk about yourself 24-7 in your head, like you ain't shit, you stupid, you fat mofo, like... You're not carrying pain. And a lot of times we carry this from other people that threw shit on you. But what do you think they was in? They wasn't happy-go-lucky either. And it's really time to like shed that because all it does is weigh us down. Sometimes it forms physically <laughs> and you carry certain things physically. You're like, wait. Um, but if not, like your heart weighs heavy. And it's it's not a good feeling. Because you close up, you know, you don't really want to be around people. That's kind of how depression starts, you know, carrying that weight on your heart, on your chest, on your back, feeling oppressed. A lot of emotions. And that's why I say self-love really is taking responsibility of being aware of your emotions, aware of your thoughts. So you can really be like, hey. I'm not stupid. I'm not fat. I'm not ugly. I'm not this. I'm not that. Really stop beating yourself up. Because the worst thing you can do is beat yourself up. If somebody else beats you up, okay, cool. You know, it's negative. But if you're beating yourself up, that's a hundred times negative. And I've had this talk numerous times with people. And um, I know about this because I firsthand have talked about myself bad too. I mean, if if you can sit here and say you haven't, who are you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> you know, it's, it's human. It's a human trait. But we're not taught, especially in this generation, this time and age, we're not really taught to look at 
all right, this is negative. Why am I saying this? Let's move forward. We're not really taught how to just be like, all right, um, let's see the brighter side of this. Not focusing on the problem. Let's focus on the solution. Because everywhere we look, media most definitely always focuses on the problem, but never wants to tell you the solution, i.e., Oh, we have a virus, but you don't want to tell us about the cure, how to move forward, right? But that's a different topic for another day, right? Anywho, let's shake loose this pain. Let's shake loose anything that is weighing us down. Move forward from anything by looking at the better um, aspect of things, looking at that silver lining and reaching towards that, looking at... Um, the positivity, the solution, and working towards that. Because no, it, it may your solution, your problem might be a little bit bigger than uh, what you thought, maybe, you know what I mean? And you got to work at it. Nothing comes like that. And if it does, it, it's going to go like that too. You got to work at things. You do. You really got to work at it, no matter what. If it's physically working, if it's mentally working on yourself you know but that's that self-love that a lot of people don't talk about and um i love it i do because i've done a lot of that and i'm i'm here for i'm here to help other people see that when i was talking about energy readings this is definitely exactly what i i've been doing for those that's been seeing me when i've been um had little pieces of paper of my quotes in a, a heart-shaped bowl that's what i was doing it's tapping in Looking in, going within and noticing like, okay, this is how I'm feeling right now? All right. But just know you can change that because you have the power to change that. And if you're feeling weak, don't feel bad. Just know that you can ask for help. It's okay. And, you know, accept that at this time I need some help. And it's all right long as you can accept that, you can move forward. So how are you going to move forward this week? What are some things that you feel like you need to let go of? What are some things that just been rummaging in your head and you just really want to say enough? Like, I don't even need to think about this shit anymore. <laughs> what are some things? I'm here to make you think. And um, I really hope that this helps. I hope this motivates you. I hope that this helps you see something, a new perspective, and really go forward just working on yourself. Because that's the best thing you can do to take responsibility of the crap that you're holding and wanting to get rid of it. It's up to you. It's really not up to anybody else. But if you accept that somebody wants to help you with that, that's cool. You still got to do the work even though somebody's going to help you. Just saying. I'm out of here, y'all. Have a nice week. Have a happy day. And um, peace out.